We begin this afternoon with a serious health concern for the Reverend Jesse Jackson. The civil rights leader reveals he's battling Parkinson's disease. Good afternoon, I'm Rob Jones. And I'm Erica Sargent. Jackson says he started noticing symptoms several years ago. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely now with more on Jackson's diagnosis. To Mayor Emanuel and to all Chicago, the revelation came as a shock. I just heard uh, the new about, news about Reverend Jackson. But to those closest to the Reverend Jesse Jackson, there were troubling signals. His voice, once a booming trumpet, was softer. His speech often slurred. These comments on street violence came last July 4th weekend. Drugs in, guns in, jobs out. More have died on these streets since Friday than Afghanistan or Iraq. Those of us who've been close to Reverend Jackson have noticed uh, some of the signs and uh, were afraid that that might be the case. And today, the confirmation, said Reverend Jackson in a statement. At 76 years old, I find it increasingly difficult to perform routine tests, and getting around is more of a challenge. After a battery of tests, my physicians identified the issue as Parkinson's disease, a disease that bested my father. Father Michael Flager, saddened. To have him be struck with a disease like this, um, that is such a serious disease, is difficult to hear. Since he arrived in Chicago at age 25, marching with Dr. King, Jackson has been at the forefront of racial justice, twice unsuccessfully campaigning for president, but paving the way for another black Chicagoan to reach the White House. While Parkinson's may be a physical condition, it will never ever break uh, Reverend Jackson's spiritual uh, commitment uh, to justice. Northwestern Memorial Hospital released a statement saying they've been treating Reverend Jackson for Parkinson's since 2015. Reverend Jackson was at Rainbow Push headquarters today, meeting with his organization's board to share news of his condition. A spokesman there said it's not yet clear whether Jackson will appear at tomorrow's regular Saturday Rainbow Push meeting. But Robin Erica, if he is there, he will certainly be showered with support and love. Do you know if his inner circle was aware that this had happened? I mean, he, you said he was going to Rainbow Push today to let everybody know. Were they aware of it? It seems to have been held fairly close to the vest, within the family, in a close circle. Uh, even people who uh, were longtime friends of his did not seem to be aware of this. Although, again, they had noticed that he was either slowing down right. or that something had changed. Okay. Derek, thank you.